Hey guys, so I am literally just honestly trying to sit here and like enjoy my coffee for two seconds before I start class. And I was just like searching on Insta. I wasn't searching, I was like just like scrolling on Insta. Um, and um, I saw it came across the story. Um, and I honestly have like, I'm not in like, I'm in a very bad mood to be honest. Like I really am, we'll get into it. Um, but like, this is like, wow, you really had to do that to me too. Um, wow. So I was, gonna, I was like, I'm just going to come on here and start off the video like that. Cause like, wow, I am so sick of this shit, dude. Um, I, do I look like tired or something? Okay. I'm not putting a lot of bronzer on. What do you think? Um, I can't like see all my jewelry there. Um, don't piss me off. Okay. Um, so we're in Ming's seat is ruining, is ruining the classroom, isn't it? Um, so Ming's not here today and, um, obviously <sighs> you guys. Okay. So I just want to get some color on my face today. Um, and there's this light that's hitting me in the damn eye ball. Fuck's sake. Um, okay, so let me just kind of get ready. I just feel like I like to look like I like to look okay before I start class. Um, because if you're ugly, you shouldn't be yelling. It's like when you go yell at your, like, yell. When you go yell at your husband or boyfriend, bitch, you better look cute. Like, can you imagine if you look ugly and you're, like, yelling at your husband? Like, I wouldn't take you seriously. Be like, bitch, get the fuck out of my face. You're fucking ugly. Um, so I feel like the same way about this. Like, now, like, you have to look cute if you're going to rant. Like, that's why so many of you guys just, like, shouldn't rant because, like, you're really ugly and you just shouldn't do it. You know what I mean? Just, like, leave it to professionals. Um, anyway, okay, I'm just going to get started. Yeah, I just need some, like, fetus cream today. Um, I think it's this lighting. I also think that I'm not putting on, I'm not using the same bronzer I used before. And I like to put a lot of bronzer. Um, but okay. I don't know. See that light in my eyeball? Yes. I'm very infuriated by it. Okay. Stop. Um, all right. So I just saw this fucking thing on Insta. Why am I pink? Is it because of this? Why am I pink? Is it because of this really? It's weird. Okay. Um, I just saw this thing on Insta where there's this like homeless fuck and yes i said this homeless fuck okay because the moment that you decide not to be live in a civil society is the moment that i don't give a fuck anymore okay that was your decision and i'm not getting into it with you today leave me the damn fuck alone okay um you're an idiot don't fucking come for me about shit before literally i stop stop okay that's is that better i'm like trying to figure out this car um it's very bright in my face like why am i white okay um, so there was like this woman and she has like a little, like, um, she sells food. Okay. Like it's like a, it's not a restaurant. It was weird. I think she looks from the video. It looks like she like makes pre packaged like meal plan food or something. I don't even know. Um, and this homeless person just like runs through the front of the store and starts like stealing all this food. And she's like, tries to push him out because he's like destroying the place. Right. Um, and then the news reporter comes in after the incident and has the mother fuck damn audacity. I would literally kick him out of my damn shop, bitch. Okay. He says to her, oh, but like, wouldn't you feed some, what, wouldn't you feed someone? What was the question? I'm going to get it wrong now. It's like, or something like where her response was, oh, if he, like, if he just asked for the food, I would have given it to him. Oh, really? Okay. So. That is not the truth. So now we're working for free. So now businesses who sell food are working for free. Is that correct? This bitch, like if she fucking means that, that you're, it tastes effective because you're a liar. Why are you lying? Okay. So you're going to say that if, if, if any, if all the homeless people just like started lighting in front of your business and they should were hungry, you're going to use the food for free. Like, is that the truth? Why are you lying? Why are you fucking lying? Like the, and why did that, why? Did, I'm sorry. Okay. So I'm going to ask the news reporter this. Um, why do you take paycheck? That's what I'd like to know. Why are you taking a paycheck? Why don't you give your money to someone who's in, um, who needs it? Because you don't need it, right? Like, why are you working? They don't want to work. So just give them money. 
don't piss me off. Okay, see what I mean? Like, wow, I'm so sick of this. Like, I'm already pissed. Like, why'd you do that to me this morning? Like, um, why did that news reporter ask that stupid question? You know how I feel about questions. Don't ask stupid questions. Oh my God, I would have literally kicked him out of my damn store. Get the fuck out. I would have told him to get the fuck out of my store. I would have escorted him out of the damn store. So dumb. Like, okay. Anyway, I got off tangent with that. I wasn't even going to talk about that. Like, wow. Okay. Like, just the, the, the stupidity, the honestly stupidity. Now people work, now people have food short, food, they're, they're, they're chefs or they, sell food for free if someone's hungry line up and get free food here because it's free fuck out of my face with the clown world shit get the fuck out of my face with the clown world shit okay let me talk about my jewelry okay before i go into the next subject i have a couple more list things to do with you guys these are my new lead crystals and they're okay so you guys know since the beginning of my line i've always done my best to find amazing really unique vintage Swarovski crystals and they're always vintage and rare colors and it's like my thing where I I know I have a lot of like knowledge about different kinds of like AB colors and effects and the AB is like obviously the iridescence you guys know that okay so they unfortunately Swarovski has like really gone downhill the only good Swarovski stuff is vintage and it's really hard to find unused rare and vintage stones okay but i'm i do that that's what like i do because i love it anyway these are rare and vintage swarovski stones they're probably from the 60s or 70s and i can tell because the box they come in is from that era untouched all right so i know people always question me like all the rats are, you rare vintage? What do you mean rare, rare vintage? like you don't even know the shit they do like i am so sick of people trying to discredit me um, get off of my damn channel, you fucking little shit, immediately. So yeah, this one, let me show you the differences. So this is AB, regular AB. But because it's a vintage one, it's not like today's AB. Today's AB, I don't like today's AB. I use today's AB when I do, but a lot of the times I won't use it if it's really ugly. A lot of the, a lot of the ABs today has a really, like a dark line of navy and dark purple and green in it. It's not pretty. It's not airy. It's not unicorn. It's not like this pretty AB that we love. And that's because I only use the ones that I know to use, right? Okay, so this is a really gorgeous AB. It's a vintage AB. So it's that really pretty one that doesn't have any of those harsh tones in it that I don't like. And you can see the back is faceted and the front is AB. And it's um, it's lengthwise, okay? And this is the medium size and it comes on this 14K gold filled or sterling silver chain, your choice, okay? This is the large one and this is the uh, pink AB. It's so pretty. It's picking up a lot of um, the yellow right now. I hate that, honestly. It's so annoying when only yellow shows, but there's that really pretty light blue too. See that, that turquoise that picks up on the front as well. It just depends on the light that you're in and the back is pink facet. It's so fucking pretty, okay? And then it comes on this twinkle chain and they all... This comes, the large one comes on twinkle and the small one comes on this like tight, it's like a vibe chain. Um, I have a similar vibe chain that I use, but it's a thinner version of it. Both gorgeous and they, no, I'm not switching them because they, this is how they fit properly in the hole of the stone, okay? So don't ask that, they, this is how they have to come. All right, um, and then also, so the small medium one only comes in AB and the large one comes in AB and in pink AB, okay? So you need these, they are so pretty. And these are the vintage ones. So once they're gone, they're gone. You shouldn't wait. Okay, this one, I love it. This is my new, why do I always feel like something in my nose? This is my new um, metallic pen, okay? And this is solid metal. So it's not like piece of crap, like, um, you know, it doesn't, it's, it's not like plastic like it should be right it's a really cool charm i have it on a 14k gold filled um ball chain or you can choose sterling silver this is 20 inch this is 18 and this is 16 okay just so you guys know 16 18 and 20. um and then this comes in all different colors let me show you i love it so much this is the purple one and you guys know i love like weird charms right like my diet soda charms and just all your weird weird kind of charms to layer and stack and this is just, it's so cute. It comes in, I love it. Okay, let me show you. So here's two colors and I put them both on here because I was playing with it. But here are the other colors. So gold, really cool. Just like if you just are an all gold person or pink, so pretty. And it's metallic 
you know what I mean? Metallic. And then here's the silver ball chain um, you could choose instead if you're a silver person. Okay, then the next one I have is my new um, Babe Pearls. And these are all hand strung um, by me. They're really pretty. And it's finished and tied with a 14K gold filled clasp but I love these. They're like little rice pearls and I, all, I have all kinds of pearls on my site um, that I do, like my wedding pearls and stuff, but they're all different. So if you like pearls or layering pearls or something, this is a really small, it's an oval shaped rice pearl. And I also have a bracelet version of it. It's just something you can wear every day. You never have to take off. It's really cute. And then this is my um, rose tennis bracelet. So a lot of you guys got my rose tennis necklaces. Um, and now we have rose tennis bracelets and this is the classic size. This is more of the color. It's really pretty. Unfortunately, it's so hard to get the color of it, but I love it. Um, so pretty. Okay, there's that. Okay, one more thing about HRH stuff before I move on is the pouch. Okay, so you guys remember this, the HRH department store pouch that I offered um, before. It was really popular. It totally sold out. I did it for a promo. <clears throat> and I have them back in a limited supply and they are free with all orders just until whenever, $150 and over, you get a free department store pouch. It's really big, okay? So it's not like thin, there's a lot of room, pops out. And um, yeah, so that's that, love it. And there's a code for it. I think you put an HRH bag and then it takes off, makes it free at checkout. So use that with all of your orders, okay? Okay, so how I wanted to start off the video today was basically introducing the new classroom. We know we're in a new classroom and I wanna start off by kind of just saying that, well, I'm gonna get into a lot, but I wanna kind of like tell you guys, like I, I it's kind of weird how I am. And maybe you guys are like this too. I don't, I don't meddle over things. I don't fixate over things. I like, um, I don't take long to make decisions. If I think, oh, I want something that's not like, you know what I mean? If that's like in my budget, it's not like I'm going to go and like spend $12 million on something. Then I will, you, then I will do it. I don't like wait around. Do you know what I mean? I'm just like that. I don't know if you guys are like that too. Like if it's like that song, you, if I, I want it, I got it. That's it. Like I just do that with a lot of things, like whether it's whatever it is. Okay. So I was thinking like I'm filming on the G wagon and I love the G wagon. It's great. And I still have the G wagon. You guys are like, eh, eh, okay. Like, I, I, and the rumors are going to start. We don't even know what you're damn fucking talking about. Okay. Like, um, it's just, it's you try and discredit me, which is very dumb because I will fuck you up. Okay. Um, and it doesn't matter, but see how you do that where you try and say something that's not the truth, but it doesn't matter anyway. It was, it was like so many times with the two story house in Brentwood, how you kept on being like, oh, she's lying that she has a two story house. Like what? You know what I mean? Like you won't get off my dick. You know what I mean? About dumb shit. Okay. Yes. I have the G wagon. Who cares? I love the G wagon. Okay. It's, it's, this is not this. I, the G wagon and this are like two separate animals. Okay. But it doesn't matter. But see how you guys force me to um, put the truth out there before you lie about me. Okay. Yes, I will. I will, I will, I will defend myself to the damn end, bitch. Leave me the fuck alone. Okay. So I just, to be honest, I was thinking to myself, I've always wanted a Rolls. Okay. I've always wanted a Rolls Royce. I've always wanted, but I never like know when the time for that is like, it's, it's honestly, it's a little like Rolls is kind of like, okay, yeah, it's a Rolls Royce. It's retarded expensive. Right. Um, but I always wanted the, um, the stars in the sky, right? Like the ghost, I think it is, has the stars in the sky. And I think like, okay, so I was like, I want, I really want the stars in the sky for when I film in class, I want the stars in the sky. Okay. And so I was like talking, whatever. And I was like, I just really want the stars in the sky. Like, I think it was just such a fucking damn vibe. I just want like a new classroom and you know what I mean? I just think it'd be fun whatever. I mean, we love the G wagon. I love the way the black makes my like eyes pop. I don't know. There's something about the lighting in there. You can see all the dust particles, which we love, right? No, I'm kidding. Um, I don't know. So I really wanted the stars in the sky, but I started like, I don't know. I don't think it's like, it's not like it's okay. This, the, the role, this, I call this bet. So I got a Bentley. The Bentley is like the poor man's but Bentley is the poor man's rolls, right? Okay. So that's what I call it. Like no one has ever said that. I, I also, okay. Anyway, um, so the Rolls Royce is so expensive. It's like retarded. Okay. 
And I don't really want anything about the rolls other than the stars in the sky. That's all I wanted. So I was like, no, I'm not gonna like spend. And no, yes, I'm getting nasal drip because I'm having to go back and defend myself about things that irritates me. So I was like, I really want whatever. And I was like, no, I'm not gonna spend. How much is that? I don't even know. Okay, it's, I don't even know how much that was. The, those cars are like 400. I don't even fucking even know. I can't even say it. It's like so expensive. So I don't know. I just was like, no, I'm not doing that. But like, I do like this. I saw what happened. Let me tell you the truth. Okay, because I like to tell stories. So I was on the freeway, bitch. And you know, I don't let anyone get around me. No, I don't. I don't let you fuck me up. Every time I let someone in, I regret it every time. Every time. So I don't let people in. No, I don't. Okay? Go behind me. Get the fuck out of my fucking lane, bitch. Okay? No, you are not getting in. You should have thought about that last mile. Okay? So, um, except, you guys know my rule. If your car is nicer than mine, I do allow exceptions. Okay? I feel like there has to be a respect level for other cars in the fucking, like, in the street that are like way better than yours. It's kind of like, okay, fine, bitch. Like you win this one. So yeah. And you know what? I don't care. Shut your fucking mouth and get the fuck out of here. Okay. I don't need your damn opinion about my opinions. If you don't want to hear them, get out. Stupid. Like people I can see them. What are you talking about? See, I don't even nice cars and nice and yours. Get out. Shut up. Like so annoying. Okay. So I was on the freeway the other day and I saw this bitch and okay, yes, she's Asian because you guys know that I like eight certain Asian vibes and if you want to call me racist, you can suck my dick, okay? So yeah, I like certain Asian like women vibes. I think they're like, um, like Asian billionaire vibes like and they, there's certain ones that I like, there's certain ones that are too tacky and this bitch was on one, okay? She was in this drop top Bentley. It was champagne color and she had like a dog with her and she had like a little visor on or something. She wasn't old. She was probably like my age, a little bit older. I don't know. I mean, we don't know the truth because I I'm, I look so young, like you would never know, but you know what I mean, okay. <laughs> so I saw her driving Bentley and um, like drop top and she literally cut me the fuck off trying to get out. Like we we're exiting on the same exit and she cut me the fuck off. And you know what, I let it go. I let it go because I like her vibe, okay? I liked her vibe. She was very cool in that Bentley. I liked it, I was like, you know what, I'm gonna let this one go. So I just let her go and I wasn't even angry. Like usually I'm very like infuriated. I was not angry. Um, so ever since then, I haven't been able to get that Bentley out of my, out of my head. I really wanted, I was like, that gold Bentley is cool. But like, I didn't see like the, I wasn't like itching for it. Okay. So then finally, when I did that last video, my last video with you guys, I was like, no, like, I just want something new. Like I want something new, like enough. Like we've been in this classroom long enough. Like we need to like, we need to graduate. Like we need something different. So I just, just felt it was time. So I just started looking online and there's like, the inventory is obviously so low. Like there's like nothing out there right now. And like, I, I didn't really want to like. I don't wait. Like I'm not the kind of person who orders cars. I'm not the kind of person who waits. Like I want it now immediately. I want to take it home. Okay. So that's how I am. So I go to the showroom and, um, they don't have champagne. Obviously they had this one and they had, and I don't want drop top. Okay. Because I don't like rag. I don't like soft tops. I think they're ugly when the soft top is up. It's ugly. Like, you know what I mean? I just don't really like them. Um, so I mean, it's cute when it's down, but like been there, done that. And I don't know, whatever. So I saw this one. This one's sick as fuck. Okay, so this one is, uh, <laughs> you guys, I swear to God, I don't know what it's called. Let me just get the thing. I know you, I did this last time with my GT. I really swear to God, I don't know what it's called. I see a car and I like the way it looks. Okay. Um, flying Spur. And it's a hybrid. Okay, no, I'm kidding. It is fucking hybrid. I'm going to tell you why it's a hybrid. So it's a Flying Spur and it's, um, so yeah, I got this and I really like it. It's white. Um, there was a silver one too. The silver one was giving like too old money. It was like too, like I was old and it would look like it would really, age. like when I sat in it, it kind of aged me. It's like, she can't be, she's gotta be older. You know what I mean? To have, it looks like an older car. This one's really nice. It has like cool, like, um, details. I'm not going to go with the details of, of it, but it has like added features that are really interesting and like, like really precise and cool. Um, and so the funny thing about the hybrid is it only like 27 miles in the hybrid on this. It's like just a joke. So because this is made in the UK, apparently only certain times of the, and you guys at UK, you can, you can say this is true or not. I think it is true. Like certain times or certain days you can go into London, but you have to have a hybrid. So, or an electric vehicle or something. So they made this 
hybrid option with 27 miles on it so you can get into London, go around and then get out and like use regular gas or whatever. So stupid. Saving the planet! Sa saving the planet! Global warming, climate change! Stupid. Okay, I guess I will say what I like to say on this damn fucking video. Um, dumb. I love the way people think that they have the power to control the fucking climate. It's so, it's so crazy! Okay. Uh, wow. Like, pollution is not climate, you fucking morons. God, just leave me alone. I can't. I just am done today. I'm done with everything today. Okay. So that's the car. This is, um, this is our new classroom for now. So I think eventually in the future, I don't know, like, I don't really, the Rolls also is like too much. Like, I don't know if I really like want to be riding around in a Rolls Royce. It's like kind of like, this is already a, like a lot, like, do I have something in my nose? No, stop. I know. It's like, I always think I do. Um, oh, it's like, a, like it's, it's even, it looks like a lot, but it's also cool because it's like white and like, there's like sporty aspects to it. Um, and the rolls is just like a rolls. It's like a lot. Like I need to leave that to the people who deserve it. I kind of feel like that. You know what I mean? Like I don't deserve that yet. Like I can, I can like, it's fine. Like I can like have it if I want it, but I don't feel like I'm there yet. It's like, there's certain things that you get at certain times in your life. You know what I mean? And I don't feel like I'm at Rolls Royce, like age status or vibe yet i just don't so i think bentley is a cool transition or if i don't want a, a rolls royce later then i won't get one maybe i won't like you guys know how i feel about designer bags designer bags are done like i don't like them like it's just not it like i you know what i mean i don't know okay so that's this and it's really sick like i love the interior um the back is really nice it's like a car to be driven around in literally like ming is so fucking spoiled and to be honest if i have a child which i want to have a child like i don't want it to be spoiled like i was not spoiled growing up like you guys i had okay i'll tell you a story like i'm gonna tell you a story that is so like i can think about it and i cry and i cry i well up because it was i lived it was very traumatic for me growing up and I'm like, I think I've told this story before, but I love this story. Okay, so we're growing up. My parents worked very hard, okay, obviously. So please don't like take this the wrong way where I'm not appreciative for everything my parents ever did for me, okay? Because I know it can get to seem like that, like that I'm like out of touch, but it's not because I grew up in a, like a middle-class family. Anyway, so growing up, we had really crappy cars. Like we just did, okay? Like even, at, so in public school, we didn't have, like even in public school level, like the car was, the cars were old, okay? Let's put it that way. Then my parents put me in private school in junior high because they thought I was gonna get my ass kicked because like I was like a dork, okay? I was like fat dork. I wasn't, I don't know. Yeah, I was a dork because I'm like an old soul. I'm not like a young soul where I don't like like young things. Like I, I'm not, I like old, you guys don't know me that well, like personally. So you don't know me really. Um, but I'm uh, definitely an old soul and I was an old soul growing up too. And like, so I can come off nerdy, you know, anyway. Um, so they put me in, so they thought I was getting my ass kicked if I, they put me in like the public, public middle school and like whatever. So we went to, anyway, no, this was actually a, that was so traumatic. Okay. So even in public school, I remember this one day public school, my mom was going to pick me up and I used to get so embarrassed when she would come in the line and with her car and like, you know how like people drive through. To, like pick up the kids right she'd come pick me up and um I, I don't know I used to take the bus too so I don't know why she was picking me up maybe it was like an effort something happened it wasn't every day that's what it was. I did take the bus home to home to and from school but um she picked me up one day and I remember saying a lie and being like oh my god I'm so tired and I put my seat I was putting my seat back like it wasn't automatic it was cranking so I was like cranking my seat and to put it back so I could hide from like because I always didn't have a lot of friends either like ever you know what i mean so i do i didn't want people to make fun of me for that too it's like they already made fun of me because i was fat they already made fun of me because i was like a dork whatever they already made fun of me because now they're gonna make fun of me for this too so i just didn't want it it wasn't that i was like ashamed of my mom or anything i just didn't want to ma be made fun of so i remember putting this trying to put the seat down my seat down my mom looks at me and she's like you put that seat up right now or i am not leaving i'm gonna start honking the horn and i was like oh my god yeah she definitely will so <laughs> i put the seat back up so I don't know where the story came from, but like I, where did the story come from? I guess I was like, okay, I don't know. But I, I don't know. I've, I don't know what was, why did I, anyway, and then I, don't, I forget why I brought this story up. Maybe because like cars or I forget why. You guys will remember because I'm dumb. But um, yeah, so anyway, that's the car. And I don't know why I told you guys about the car story. I don't know. I forget. I feel like I didn't want to rewind on here and like remind myself why, but I forget. Hopefully I don't miss something. All right. So anyway, 
Um, you guys should be like very proud of me, very proud of us for getting a new <laughs> classroom. Um, I swear to fuck. Okay, stop. Like, I don't want to get mad right now, but do I have something in my nose? No, I don't. <sighs> okay. Anyway, so that's that. And, um, we will have a lot of fun in this. You, like you and I, us, you guys and me, like we will get, we will like, it'll be fun. It'll be great. But anyway. Um, I do want to come on here also after I've told you guys about like the new car and stuff. And I just want to give a shout out and a thank you to big tech and the rats out there who I don't want to give them all of the credit, obviously, because HRH does grow every year. You guys know that if you've been with me for a long time, you'd see like the evolution of, I started in my parents, like literally my parents' house in, you know, do, with like, I was like broke. Right. Um, and then to now, and every year it's grown, it's been great, but I really feel like I've gotten a lot of, of platform space. I don't know what the word is for that. Like you guys have given me a lot of airtime and it's so great. It's like, I have told you guys so many times if you, that to not fuck with me. And I'm going to talk about the situation that's going on right now too, with like Trump and it's, it's the same thing. Okay. And I'm not comparing myself to Trump because obviously is nothing it's nothing like that like I'm not political or, or he's way bigger than I am but it's the same kind of thing where you guys need to just stop okay but you won't so anyway I'm gonna talk about myself and I told you guys so many times the more the more big tech fucks with small people like me like who just talk, speak their truth the truth or their opinion and we get shut down for absolutely no reason for lies we get shut down for lies that oh we are bullying harassment suicide suicidal thoughts something like that like it's really fucked up and people don't like it people you guys don't know how many people email me thanking me hundreds okay dms and emails of people thanking me for not only speaking about the truth about weight, okay, calories and how much it's helped them, but also speaking out the truth about what's going on, okay? A lot of people also say, Alex, you know what, I don't necessarily agree with everything you say, but I understand that like people, like that, that it is true, like what you're saying is true, even though I may not agree with it, or I don't forget how they say, it, but like people do agree with me and they tell me all the time, they may not like my delivery or they may not actually agree, but they also don't think I should be shut down for, for that, you know what I mean? For just speaking the truth or what I think is the truth, right? Even though it is the truth, okay? Like I don't hate even saying what I think is the truth because it is the truth. Yes, I'm always right. Um, anyway, so the more, and then also the rats, like the fucking loser rats out there. I don't know where they find the time. Obviously they have the time because they're losers, right? They'll never be anything. They've got a lot of time on their hands. So what they do is they try and manipulate videos or manipulate photos of me to make me look fat or make things go viral. And it does, it goes viral. And thank you because literally you guys have really propelled this a lot. And you know, if it wasn't for you working for me for free, like it's great. I have employees working for me for free, doing my PR for free. It's great. Thank you. Like you guys think that you ate and you didn't, you're making, you're like making me eat and not like food. You know what I mean? So it's, it's amazing. And so thank you everyone, even like big tech. And I also want to tell you guys too, like, just so you know, if I'm ever shut down somewhere, I'm never go, I will always pop up somewhere. So please don't think that like I went somewhere or I blocked you or something. It's probably that like they shut my account down as always. This is like my fifth Instagram account for absolutely no reason. In the last, the last one that got shut down, I put, I put up a, like a, a Sunday, like I did like a weekend, like my weekend I do and like usually on Sunday I'll post like, you know, an album of my weekend and like the fifth picture in, it was a photo of a Glock that I bought. That's it. Just a Glock on, a, on my, on, by my bag, like nothing. I follow many gun people, people who own guns, gun accessory, whatever. There are lots of people, people who shoot guns are on Insta, right? So they shut me down for something about guns. Okay. So in the, obviously the king, I don't even want the account back. I don't care. Like I'll just start to know with another one. It doesn't matter. Like you guys think that you are affecting me. You're not affecting me. Like I don't care. Keep talking about me. Do what you want. I'm not going to shut up ever. Like I'm never going to fucking shut up. So do whatever the fuck you want. Actually, it's going to make me more mad. Okay. I'm just going to keep doing it and doing it more, which you guys want. Okay. It's the same thing with Trump. Like you guys, this thing with the whole Trump thing with him, with them raiding Mar-a-Lago, like, wow, 
like I'm not gonna get into the nitty-gritty of it like I wasn't sure in the primaries who I was gonna vote for I don't want to get into it like because it's I don't want to talk about who to vote for I think you should do your own research and not talk to your stupid ass friends okay and to vote for you know what I mean whatever I don't even want to talk about it because half of you guys are so fucking dumb it doesn't matter but anyway um, I wasn't sure who I was going to vote for but like this is too much like it's like what he said about oh wow it's like a fire truck what he said about like all I don't want to say the buzzwords on here but all of the corruption and like the swamp and all that and like the something state I don't want to say the word because I don't know if it will pop up I don't even know it's scary it's too much this is not normal like I'm sorry are you fucking serious you don't think that Hillary should be fucking like looked at you don't think that Hunter Biden should be looked at but you guys are gonna go raid Trump's house do you see the problem is like fine do it to everyone right not just to one person it's too much right this is un fair this is not cool like it's just it and so many people i've been like like watching twitter and stuff like even andrew yang right even andrew yang said something about okay this has gone too far you, like it's true it's gone too far and i honestly believe that if they could have found something in the fucking eight years now feel that we'll say what is it six years that they've been wanting to, to, to trap him for something they would have already gotten him so now what they do they went into his fucking they went, they went into his house and planted some shit i don't believe anything now that comes out of there because they they have had the entire government, the entire world to do what they need to do to find something on him. Now, all of a sudden, they have to go and raid his place um, unannounced with a machine gun guarding the front of the gate. I mean, it's just too fucking much. I'm over it. Like, it's like, it's honestly now I kind of like feel bad for him. It's like it's gotten to the point where like, OK, no, I I in, in a very small level, obviously, I feel like that sometimes. It's like, I'm so sick of getting fucking bullied for no reason. I can't even come on here and talk about how I personally lose weight or you guys are going to fucking shut me down on my Insta and try and try and wreck me. You try and ruin me. You try and, and ruin my livelihood. You try and ruin my business. You try and ruin my, my reputation and it doesn't ever work. Obviously it doesn't work. Okay. You guys can make lies about how you think I'm poor, I'm fat and whatever. It's not the truth. Like I am so sick of this. Anyway, I wanted to talk about that because it's just, I've had like too much and then I've had enough of it and I, I like whatever. Okay, just end it there. But let me show you guys the Bentley key. It's really cool. Obviously, I mean, it should be, but here's the key and it comes in this color to match the interior, I guess. But let me show you what it looks like without. It's really, it's really neat. Everything is just like, I can't take it out, but it's like a big black key. It's much bigger than my Mercedes. The Mercedes key is only like that big. This is a big key. It's really cool though. It's like very ostentatious, like whatever. Yeah, it should be. It's definitely like, fuck yeah. Okay. Um, okay. So then I got my nails done and I hate them. They're way too short. It's not the vibe at all. It's actually pissing me off. I, it's like they're dorky. You see how they're like slightly too short and makes my hands look like kind of nub. Like it's just what he fucked up so bad. Like I'm really pissed. They need to grow out. A quite a bit for them to be a vibe again like I just really really hate them okay hold on okay so then I want to catch up with you guys a little bit about the weight loss I'm still on my program and it's been really easy for me because I am really just like steadfast on this I told you guys uh, the rat again like the rat again fucking helped me they posted that photo of me back when I was really fat on Twitter, trying to harass me and trying to make me look disgusting to the public. Um, and I was like, oh wow, Alex, stop. Like, actually you, you should stop. So once again, the rats are just always keeping me in check and like working for me. So thank you. Um, anyway, so I've been on the 1200 day calorie diet and I'm sharing everything on Patreon only. So if you guys want to follow along on my weight loss and what I'm doing so you guys can too. I'm not showing it on Insta and I'm not showing it on here because I, it's just, I'm convinced on Instagram there's a fat fuck that it works there or something. I don't even know that every time I talk about anything having to do with calories, I literally get shut down. Even if I post something about 600 pound life, if I'm watching 600 pound life and it's in the background, they shut me down. It's the weirdest thing. Like they are crazy. Okay. And it's so vicious. This whole um, po body positivity movement is so 
vicious. It is so evil, okay? I don't wanna bring up names because I just, I don't do that. When I talk about people, I do hypothetically. There's a girl out there who I know of, okay? And she's totally bought into this body positivity thing. And she's fat and she's not good looking and it's very depressing, okay? She's like single and she like owns her fat and acts like she is okay but you she's absolutely miserable like she goes on dates and then like they ghost her or something bad happens like that's just not what girls want to deal with and it's because she's significantly overweight okay let's not forget the fact that this is not actually a clown world yet there are things in life that are true and not true okay being significantly overweight is not attractive. It's not healthy. And I know you're not happy because I've been there. Okay. And I can talk about this because I've been there. If you don't want to hear this, you may exit out of the channel, you little shit. Okay. I don't want you here, um, dictating what I'm allowed or not allowed to speak about. Okay. You little shit, you fat fuck. Okay. That's what it is. You're a little irritate. You're a little fatso who can't take the truth. So get off of my channel. Okay. I was fat and I'm allowed to talk about anything I'd like to talk about regarding weight because I am very like, um, it's, it's like a thing for me. All right. Anyway. So it's really sad. And like, she always tries to like, she like really shoves like food in people's face. Like I swear, like it's like all about the food with her. And it's really depressing because she needs to just lose weight. Like she needs to lose weight. I promise you, I feel so bad for her. I want to tell her so bad, but I would never because she's not happy. Okay. She wants a man. Right. And then she always like comes back and is like, is depressed about the fact that like the dates didn't work out or they ghosted her or something. And then she'll be like, it's okay, like living my life. You know that bullshit, like those stupid buzzwords nowadays that people say like, oh, I'm a woman, woman, hear me roar kind of shit. Like, no bitch, you are miserable at that. And I don't care if you're happy and you're fat, good. I don't understand it, I, but I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about me and I know she's not happy. Anyway, so this body positivity thing is evil. It's straight up evilness, okay? If they were honest with you, if they, if, if people wanted you to be happy, they would tell you to live a healthy lifestyle, to have a proper BMI, to have a little bit of self-control. Um, did you see that my Twitter got shut down last week? Because I wrote, all I wrote was, if you're fat, you don't need to eat that. That's all I said. If you are fat, you don't need to eat that. My Twitter was shut down for like 12 hours, okay? Because of fat. That is a very helpful thing to say, and that is something that people should believe. If you are fat, okay, you probably don't need to eat that. Like, that's the truth. Um, and it really bothers me coming from someone who was fat and has been fat. Like, I have very good, like, advice and, like, advice for people who are, like, former fatties who don't really like to work out, who just don't want to be like model skinny, but want to be skinny for themselves. Like when I say I'm skinny, I'm not saying I'm skinny. I'm saying I'm skinny for myself. Like I told you guys, I never compare myself to anyone else other than me because I can't be anyone else other than me, nor do I want to be anyone else other than me. But you know what I mean? Like that's the thing that's sad. Anyway, I feel this body positivity thing is so destructive and I feel really bad for her but like why are her parents telling her she seems to be close to her family like why are her parents not telling her the truth like like it's she's only gonna get more depressed and more miserable and she's only gonna get older and it's only gonna be harder for her to find a man so it's really really sad like actually really sad so if you care about someone in your life and they're like fat and miserable I don't know how you gotta break it to them but like no don't be like their food friend okay and don't go out to eat with them and let them I don't even know what you're supposed to do but like it's just so sad because people are being destroyed by this movement it's so fucking detrimental and I really hate it like I really hate it because I even remember when I was fat and my like brain hadn't clicked yet because I feel like weight loss is all mental right it's not anything else else other than mental when my brain hadn't clicked yet, I remember watching like fatzos, right? On Insta and being like, look, they're pretty. Look at, she can rock that. Like she looks good. Oh my God. Yeah, she looks good. She could rock that. Like, okay, so I'm not bad. I'm not that bad. It's okay. I'm not that bad. Like I could, I could wear that. Like, look, you know, see, okay. So I was starting to do that where like, I was convincing myself that like, it's okay. Like the now, nowadays, like the average dress size in the, in the, in the States is like 14. So it's okay. Like, it's just so wrong, dude. It's so wrong. Anyway, 
And like the thing where you work out, it bothers me too. Or like these like fatos will like go to the gym, pretend like they're going to the gym. They'll go to the gym, but then they'll go home obviously and eat a thousand more calories than they burnt off. You know what I mean? It's bullshit. Why are you even bullshitting? Like don't even go to the gym. Don't even bother. Like you're just embarrassing. Like if you're going to go home and eat, if you're trying to lose weight, okay, but you're going to go home and eat shitty anyway, there's no point. Okay. Just shut up. You're fucking lying to yourself. I'm sick of you. Ugh, now I'm indigestion kind of pissed. Anyway, guys, I want to go. But um, I hope you like this video. I'm gonna create, I'm gonna um, put together whatever, another list for next week. I don't know why I'm saying that. I'm saying that because this week wasn't really a list week. This week was more of a current events topics list and an introduction to our new classroom list. Um, but yeah, okay guys. Oh, I wanna tell you too, one more thing too. This dress, I got it from Target, it was like $15. It's like a halter top dress. It was in like the juniors department, like teenager kind of thing not like you know what i mean and it's just like a black short dress it's 15 dollars. it's really cute you should go get it i got it in an extra small so it's like nice and tight um and yes it's because like i'm getting skinny oh i know what i wanted to say too dude yeah i gotta tell you this okay i want to tell you this because it's kind of like you guys okay so remember how i lost weight the first time right that shit came off pretty fast like it really did that's what i was getting to it came off pretty fast it's not coming off fast anymore for me because Maybe because I'm like a couple years, three years older. I don't know. Maybe it's because of that. But it's because, oh, I remember too before why I was talking about the car because of having a kid. Yeah, bitch. I don't want to have a spoiled ass kid. Like, I want to get rid of this car before I have a child because no, I'm not driving my, around my child in Bentley. Like, I'm not going to the school and dropping off my little, my child in a Bentley. No, like, I'm not doing that, you little shit. Like, no. You know what I mean? Like, no. Like, you're gonna, I, you, I will ruin your life if you, I really think that, like, the way, the reason I am today, because I'm perfect, is because I wasn't like, I didn't wasn't given everything like I was given a lot but not everything you know what I mean so as a child if you're given everything then what do you have to work for I, I that's what I feel like so I don't know when I have a child I think I'm gonna really have to like like not have anything nice like I swear to god or I'm gonna have like a child like a, like a like a car that I just drive that child around in but then it's like then they know you have it I don't know what I'm gonna do I I don't want to have a spoiled child I will be so mad at that child stop I don't want a child okay um anyway <laughs> it was a quick decision no I'm kidding I don't know stop what I was saying is about, oh yeah, the weight loss. So, okay, the weight loss thing. Um, it's not coming off quick this time. Okay, it's been like two weeks. And so, to, so oh, you guys, oh my God. Okay, I had like, I was so bloated over the weekend, like that my stretch, my bike shorts were tied on me because I had the worst PMS I've ever had in a very long time. It was insane. Like, I never cry. I hate people who cry. I don't understand what crying is. Like, crying doesn't I understand if crying makes you feel better you should do it crying doesn't make me feel better it gets me like I hate it it's a waste of time it makes me tired like I don't cry but I like almost cried and I was crying because I'm like so mad I'm like listen I've been dieting like I've been really good and now you're gonna make me bloat like this like all weekend I'm disgusting fat like bloated whale um anyway so um what was I gonna say you guys I need someone here to like tell me what I was gonna say um it was that yeah, it's not coming off quick this time. And I think it's because I don't have as much weight to lose as I did the first time, right? Like the first time I lost, like, I think I was, it must've been like 40 pounds, right? So I don't have that much to lose to get back to where I was. I think I'll probably have like another six pounds or something, but it's not coming off as quick as it was before. Cause I'm not noticing like big differences, just like being able to zip up pant, like, like skirts and stuff that I wasn't able to before. But I'm able, like today, thank God I noticed I got up and I looked at myself in the mirror. Cause remember I told you guys like a few months ago, or whatever that I love how I look naked like I really look so good naked well recently I have not been liking the way I look naked but now I can see it again like it's starting to look like the resemblance of what I had before it just had like a layer of grossness over it you know what I mean um but I'm not it's not happening as fast but I'm not going to like to reduce calories more I'm just not like I I can't like I don't want to go into like a mode where my body in order to like sustain has to like literally starve like I won't do that so, and it was crazy. Like yesterday, I wasn't even hungry at night. Like I really wasn't hungry at all, but I still ate just to like fulfill the calories. I don't know why I don't have like an appetite right now. I just don't really like, I don't know, whatever. Um, but okay guys. So I just wanted to share that with you. Uh, all right. I love you guys. Even the rats. Oh my God. Right. Like, don't we love the rats? Okay. Bye.